Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and if you are new, hi, hello, my name is Sarah, and welcome to your pick a card reading. So today we are going to be looking at what does your style, your aesthetic, or your energy say about you. So this could be seen as like first impressions, what do people think about the way that you articulate yourself, or the way that you express yourself through your clothing or your identity. We are going to be finding out what people think of you as based on that. So I need you to go ahead and choose one out of the three images. And once you have chosen your image, I will have the timestamps down below in my comment section as well as my description box. And before I go ahead and sign off and get uh, started with pile one, I just wanna let people know that I am now offering a YouTube membership. So what this membership includes is four ad-free exclusive videos every month. Uh, some months could be more than four videos, but I'm gonna be doing basically like private videos where it's a smaller community so I can channel messages that may be very straight to the point. It may resonate with more people just because it's less people that I'm channeling for, as well as the videos will be ad free. And I am contemplating about going live once a month and doing live free personal readings as well as collective readings once a month on my channel. I'm not sure it's not a perk yet, but I'm thinking about it. So that could be something that you guys can look forward to as well. But I wanted to talk about that because it is going to be $4.99 a month for four plus exclusive ad free videos every single month. So I hope I will see you guys there. And if you guys are interested, I am offering paid private readings at this time as well. I will have the link for my Etsy page down below in my description box, as well as all the links where you can find me besides YouTube. So that is all that I have to say i will see you guys very soon i'm gonna go ahead and get started with my pile one people and toodaloo hey pile one welcome to your video all about what does your style say about you so i do have some cards laid out already but i want to give you what i was really feeling for you right off the bat you are giving off Samantha Jones from Sex in the City. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen that show, but her whole vibe was sex positivity. She was someone that was really into her power, into her element. She was not afraid to show off who she was. And she had a very seductive, classy and almost kind of like sultry vibe to her. So you guys are kind of giving off that energy where you know yourself, right? The first house is all about your identity, body, right? You guys could have, again, i sorry about my finger. I have a cut, so please ignore that. You guys could have uh, this body positivity mindset. You guys may know who you are. Your identity is really strong. So I'm seeing that you guys are not afraid to show who you are through your mannerisms, your clothing, your personality. Um, you guys are also extremely attractive. I just want to tell you that I'm really getting that you guys are, I'm hearing conventionally attractive. So you guys are very conventionally attractive, but I'm getting kind of like a darker aesthetic here. So some of you guys are naturally just really beautiful, but there's something about the dramatics and enhancing something that is seen as like your best feature. Um, that may be seen as a little bit, yeah, I'm seeing this as like not too much, but I'm seeing this as extremely, uh, powerful and also just extremely, wow. I'm, I don't know why I'm losing my train of thought. It's making me think of, I keep wanting to say illuminating. That's not the word that I want to say. It's like powerful though. It's like intense is what I want to say. Something about what you have as a natural beauty perk about you you like to enhance it through makeup or clothing or possibly cosmetics or maybe you've gotten some uh, body work done through surgery I don't really whatever you guys like to do right but it's making me think that you have a feature that you guys have cosmetically enhanced or you enhance through uh, surgery or doing something you're doing something to make it appear a lot more intense than it usually is so that you can kind of get this dramatic look to you and people are really liking this but I'm also hearing something about how there's people that are really intimidated by this um for some of you it could be your eyes because when I was looking at this card here even this card 
look at the woman's eyes they're like slanted it makes me think of like cat eyes or fox eyes it's making me think of like siren like eyes so your gaze could be really really powerful Maybe you guys like to enhance your eyes through makeup or contacts or something like that. There's something about the eye shape that's really coming out for me as well. It's making me think of like really up high almond shape eyes. Um, and even with the, the wolf here, the same color, that's the same type of eyes. It's kind of like upward and slanted. It's making me think of fox eyes or cat eyes. So your eyes come off as almost like I'm hearing cunning, stealthy, piercing, even the color eyes that you have. I'm seeing gold. I'm seeing a lot of orange and gold. So you guys could have some gold flecks in your eyes or uh, hazel eyes, brown eyes. I'm really getting brown, hazel, gold, amber eyes. So I'm really channeling that for a lot of you. And if you don't have those colored eyes, then, you know, this is a general reading. But I'm just sensing that some of you guys, your eyes are really piercing or they're really striking or they're really dramatic and people really like how you accessorize your eyes or they like how you dramatize your eyes. But for some of you, I'm seeing that one of the things that you guys give off style-wise is a witchy aesthetic or a spiritual aesthetic or someone that's into the occult. This could be seen as alternative or emo. <laughs> this making me think of like a creative type of a style. So I'm seeing either someone that's in the occult or someone that's really into creativity, music, the arts. And one of the cool things about you that I was really getting you are a, a jack of all trades or that's how people are kind of assuming you to be. You guys like to dive into different hobbies and projects. You guys may actually like to use your hands to create things, but I'm seeing painters, drawers. Um, I'm seeing something that has to do with illustration. Maybe I'm hearing something about books too. Um, also, I'm seeing this could be seen as like music, the arts, uh, poetry. I'm seeing someone that's really into the aesthetics and art and creation, like someone that's super creative that has multiple different projects that they like to work on. And one of the projects that you guys like to work on a lot is you, yourself. So I'm seeing like body modifications too. So some of you guys may actually like to work on um, your physique, sorry, your physique through cosmetics maybe you guys are into working out at the gym i'm seeing something about like waist trainers come seeing the zipper here i'm seeing like waist trainers are trying to accentuate certain body parts trying to reshape things um i'm also seeing something that has to do with tattoos piercings that could also be something that people are thinking is really cool about you but you have a really artistic expression to you um it's not it's not very black and white. And I'm also seeing that you're not cookie cutter at all. You have a very unique taste. You have a very unique style. So even though someone could be like, oh, uh, pile one looks like they're, I don't know, pile one looks like they're witchy or pile one has an alternative vibe or pile one has an emo vibe or an artist vibe. Someone may already have a preconceived notion of what they think you would look like before they meet you. And then when they meet you, like, yes, you have that certain genre about you, but it's so unique and so your own that you're not going to blend in with the crowd like i'm really seeing that you guys have your own unique expression even though there may be some labels or titles associated with it you guys kind of made it your own and i'm really hearing that you guys actually may have a lot of people that want to copy or imitate you because i'm seeing the first house as you have your own sense of style here you have your own sense of like I guess, purpose to what you're doing. Like this is all on your own. You created it yourself. It's brand new. It's something that not everyone can copy. And I'm seeing that you guys have a lot of people that imitate you. So I don't know if this is something that you've dealt with growing up, but you have people that try to mimic uh, certain makeup styles or hair cuts or colors or even like, yeah, it's giving me Regina George <laughs> type of energy. Like you do something the next day, someone's trying to imitate or copy that energy so that they can have like the same flair that you do. And it just, it's not the same. So you do have a lot of people that like to copy you. Another thing that I was getting for you, Pile One, is you guys are kind of intimidating. 
Um, you guys are very attractive and very beautiful, but there's something about your energy that comes off as a little bit scary. And I'm sorry to say that pile one, but you're giving off this energy of like, don't mess with me. So people are afraid to be on your bad side. I'm kind of getting Scorpio energy from you, pile one. So you could have some prominent Scorpio placements in your birth chart. You kind of give off the vibe, pile one, that you wouldn't be very nice based off of your look and your aesthetic. Um, I'm also getting this impression that people would think that you, I don't know why I'm hearing this. I'm so sorry. Based on your style, Pile 1, people think that you may be like a boyfriend stealer or a girlfriend stealer, like a womanizer man-eater type, where you guys are power hungry, you guys want what you want, and you don't really care who you walk all over to get it. But I'm also, but I'm really getting that you're not like that. Like, even with the Samantha Jones uh, reference that I said to you, She's a total girl's girl. Like, she is so down for her friends. Like, she wants to empower other women, not, like, hurt other women. Uh, just because she's in her own power doesn't mean that she is um, feeling like she... What's the word I want to say? She's not insecure. So she's not insecure enough where for her to feel powerful, she has to bring down other people. She's in her power and in her element, and she wants to uplift others to help them bring their own power out and for their own shine to come through. So that's the energy that I'm getting when people kind of like get to know you a little bit better is like, okay, pile one is not as mean or as scary as I thought they were. But through first glances, they kind of get this impression of, not maybe snobbiness maybe like thinking that you're better than them because of how the way that you dress and the way that you present yourself you come off as high quality maybe this is like the clothing that you like is expensive or the way that you like react to people your mannerisms comes as very poised very mature and also just really classy so people may think that you are judgmental or you may come off as too bougie or someone that is better than other people but I'm really getting that's not the case at all it's actually quite the opposite so that is what I got from your cards I want to go ahead and roll my dice and I will be also getting my tarot cards today and some index cards that I wrote some random words on so yeah look at this we got the eighth house we got the moon and we got Taurus so definitely the moon is all about moodiness self-care intuitiveness right you guys may be coming off as someone that's really witchy really intuitive someone that's very uh powerfully strong in terms to their aura the eighth house is Scorpio energy this is Pluto energy so you guys are very transformative you guys are very powerful you guys are constantly rebirthing yourself too i'm really hearing that from my guides because even with the first house you guys may go through a lot of changes in terms to your physical body so you guys may change your appearance a lot you may be upgrading a lot you may find new pieces of things that you like um, about like maybe like your favorite TV I don't know why I'm hearing this your favorite TV shows your favorite music and you incorporate it into your style and that's changing all the time because you I, I think you want to you you have this habit where you want to change your appearance a lot you want to become better and becoming better, you have to throw things out and change things and adapt. And so I think you guys have changed a lot through this evolution that is you. And so your style is kind of like the same genre, like I was saying, but it changes a lot because I feel like you guys create new fads, you come up with new ideas, new trends. And so people are trying to keep up with you, but you're always evolving and changing and growing and transforming. You're always on to the next trend or the next idea, but you're like the inventor of the trends i'm not seeing that you're i'm not seeing you as being a follower you're trying to invent new and creative ideas on how you can express yourself and with taurus taurus is making me think of richness the senses so you guys like high quality you guys come off as high quality you guys smell good look good Oh God, um, I heard taste good. So there are some people that are very sex positive here. They're really into their um, sexual, you know, exploration and good for you. I'm also hearing someone has a only, I'm not going to say it, but an only friends account and that's popping. You have a lot of people that see that and they really like that about you. They think, again, that could be the taboo thing that I was sensing for some of you guys. But you guys have a really 
seductive quality to you. You guys have a very intimate quality to you, a very dark and sultry type of look to you. And it's giving off strong sex appeal. I'm just, I'm going to say, you guys are giving off extreme sex appeal, but someone that's not like, <laughs> I'm hearing that you guys would be seen as someone that dresses sexy, but it's classy, right? You're not cheap. You're not, you're not a hooker. I'm sorry. I don't want to say that. You're not, you're not going to be showing off, showing off your body like a prostitute. You are classy. You are modern. You are seductive, but you have, uh, values. You have, <laughs> I don't know, pile one. That's basically what I'm hearing for you is you guys look like you would be seen as expensive. Does that make sense? So that is what I'm hearing for you so far. I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling some tarot cards and see what your style says about you. Last messages for pile one, please, spirit, for what does their style say <clears throat> about pile one? All right, so we got the sun. We got the king of swords. So it's funny because you give off a very cold, <laughs> cool, calm, collected, cold exterior but internally you have this like heart of gold. Like I'm telling you, you have a heart of gold and you shine a light. Like you are bright. You are like in your face bright. The hangman. People are in undecided about you. Okay. So also the bottom of my tarot deck, we had the eight of pentacles. So classy businesswoman, boss babe energy. Some of you guys may be entrepreneurs. You have your own business. You have your own line of work. Some of you guys could actually be in a line of work that's into herbalism, possibly spirituality, uh, something that has to do with a creative hobby. But I'm seeing that people view you as someone that's really in their element and really in their power and someone that's going to be making really big moves in terms to their career. That's what I heard for someone here. Um, let me go ahead and shuffle my index cards before I give you the rest of my messages. Self-care. God complex. Yeah, this is totally resonating with what I'm saying. So with your guys' tarot cards, let's go over that first. The sun, you guys, no matter where you go, your energy is really bright. It's very in your face. Um, the sun makes me think of the ego. So some people may think that you are really self-centered, which this isn't a bad thing, but you guys are really, you guys care about how you look, right? So people can tell that from how you take care of your personal appearance. And I'm seeing with the sun, people can't dim your light no matter how hard they try. You guys will always be a light in a room, no matter what you look like. You guys just have this energy where people pay attention to you. And again, the God complex and the self-care, you guys take really good care of your physical body, your appearance, your smell, your taste. Like you look like, you look like high quality. You're not going to be someone that wears you know, really cheap clothing, or even if you do, even if you buy sh uh, buy clothes from Shane, nothing against that. I buy clothes from there all the time, but <laughs> you make it look expensive. You can take something that's like a secondhand store or handmade and you make it look like it's this really expensive brand name. Like people will be like, oh, where'd you get that? Um, people are wanting to know where you get your clothing, where you buy your makeup, what you do to make yourself look the way that you do. I'm really hearing that in my mind. And the other thing is some people think that you guys are also really smart too. Because of the way that you guys present yourself, you guys come off a little bit judgmental, like just the way that you guys dress. And there's a lot of dark aesthetic here. So people may think that you're cool, calm, collected, like I'm saying, the cool kid. Uh, people may think that you come off as a little bit judgmental just because of how you guys look and how cool you guys seem to be. They think that you guys may also be... Um, I'm hearing like detached loner. Like you guys are like the cool loner. That's what it's making me think of. Like you have groupies, but you want to be by yourself. And for some reason, I don't know why this came to my mind. I haven't seen this movie in forever, like a long time ago, like when I was a kid. I don't know if you guys saw the Disney movie Sky High and it was about people that had superpowers and they go to high school. Um, your energy is giving me war and peace. He was like seen as like the bad guy, but he was like really dark and my opinion, I found him attractive. He's like the dark, cool, calm, collected guy. Everyone was scared of him, um, but he was actually really nice. Uh, but he had like that kind of cold exterior of like, leave me alone. You have that vibe. The hangman, again, this is making me think of like people either love you or they hate you. 
this is making me think that there's a lot of people that are also very undecided about you right now. I'm not really sure why that is. Let's go ahead and figure that out. Second house, Gemini. Uh, something to do with like fantasy here. So certain people may see you and they may think that you're not the real deal. They may think that you're putting on a persona just from what I'm seeing here. The second house is all about your money aesthetic and value. And I'm seeing the Neptune as delusions as well as inspiration. So you inspire a lot of people through how you speak and also how you look. And this just went to Pisces. So I really am seeing something about how people may think that you guys come off as magical and unique, but there's certain people that are undecided about you because they think that you are being fake or they think that it might not be real, that it might just be like a show, if that makes sense. But pile one, that's all that I have for you for this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. And if you are interested, I am now offering YouTube memberships where you can go ahead and pay $4.99 a month for four plus exclusive videos every month that are not available on my YouTube channel. So that is all that I have to say. I will see you guys later. Bye. All right, pile two, this is going to be your reading all about what does your style say about you. And the first thing that I heard for you is pretty privilege. And then <laughs> I also heard, do you have a boyfriend in my mind? So you have a lot of romantic uh, onlookers that are watching you right now. There's a lot of people that want to be in a relationship with you or people that want to offer you things or buy you things. And the reason why I'm saying that is I'm seeing beggar and I'm seeing request. So you have a lot of people that desire your attention. You have a lot of people that want your affection, that want to be with you, your friend, want to be in a relationship with you. And the photo that you chose, um, it showed a phone and a mouth. So one of your best features could be your lips or your mouth or maybe the way that you guys speak or articulate yourself. But I was really hearing something about how people just want to talk to you. Like, I'm not really getting what your look is, but just you, your look, your just your appearance. There's something about you that makes people really want to be around you. Like, you would be seen as popular. You would be seen as the woman that all the guys want to date or the girl that all the guys want to be with. Like, I'm seeing this as... You get a lot of relationship stuff. You have a lot of people that want to be in relationships with you. So that was like a really random thing that I channeled for you. Even with your fire element, there's a lot of people that desire you. I was really getting this as people really want to be with you uh, romantically. There's a lot of people that want to be with you in the bedroom, if that makes sense. I'm hearing something about bedroom eyes in my head. I'm looking at this woman and her gaze like... I think you know, I'm hearing a Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I'm mostly hearing Libra Rising though, Pile 2. <laughs> you guys have this element to you where you can get anyone to do anything that you want them to. It can be seen as a little bit of manipulative, I'm not going to lie, but you have this, I don't know what this is, you have this light or there's something about your physical beauty that you use to your advantage or people may think that you do. You use this to get things done for you. Like I'm seeing princess treatment um, <laughs> and it doesn't matter who you are, pile two, but I'm seeing like princess treatment. People may think that you're a princess. People may think that you act like a princess, that you need help. I'm seeing like a providing energy. Like people want to take care of you. I don't know what this is, but People see your physical appearance and they're just like, oh, I want to provide for that person. I want to romance that person. I want to take care of them. I want to take them on dates. I want to splurge on them. Like, I'm seeing flowers here. So you have a lot of crushes. There's a lot of people that have crushes on you. And I'm also seeing there's just a lot of people that want to buy you gifts and they want to take you out and they want to spoil you rotten. And I don't know if you know this, but it could be like, you know, secret admirers, but there are people that want to be with you in that way, just from how you look. Um, I really want to get some more details on how you look. I'm just really getting the energy from other people. So I do have a band-aid on my hand because I have a cut, so sorry about that. Just please try to ignore that. But pile two, I'm really getting that your energy overall is really bubbly, positive and happy and I was I'm actually hearing something about how you may have like a childlike expression or I'm hearing angel in my head so certain people may think that you look like an angel or you act like an angel like I'm not gonna lie pal too you give off a really sweet and innocent type of look um 
I'm hearing devious in my mind, though. So you're kind of like a Sour Patch Kid where you are, you know, sweet. You're like salt. You're kind of like sweet and sour. So you may give off this vibe of like, I'm innocent. I'm sweet. I'm really cute and cuddly. But you have a little bit of like a devious side to you or a troublemaker type of side. And I don't know if people know this about you or not. It's also giving me Gemini energy too, so it's like the different sides to you. So people may see you as really versatile. Your style may be seen as, again, sweet, but you also have a little bit of like a sexy type of romantic type of side to you. So it's like very different. Your, your Also, your, um, your look is like asking for attention. And I'm not trying to say this in a negative way, pile too, but you, the, the way that you dress, the way that you do your makeup or the way that you do your hair, it's like asking for attention. You don't do things half-assed. You're not doing things lazily. And it doesn't have to be seen as like super dramatic or like super like out there. But the way that you do your makeup, the way that you present your clothing the way that you take time in yourself it really shows and people can see that and people can sense that you're doing this to kind of gain a little bit of attention right you like a little bit of attention and it shows um and it doesn't have to be super flashy like I'm saying here but you take pride in how you look and people really notice this about you it's actually your the way that you yeah, I don't know why I'm seeing this. I'm seeing Cassie from Euphoria and during the scene where she's trying to get attention from Nate Jacobs, she was like waking up at like four in the morning to spend time on her self-care. It's giving me that energy. So you could be seen as someone that has like a really long routine in terms to their appearance, their nightly routines, their skincare, makeup, aesthetic, um, like you have your rituals. Does that make sense? I'm also hearing something about your nails. I'm seeing this woman's hand. It's making me think of her nails. So you have a lot of people that look at your nails and that's like something that they really like or the shape of your hands. I'm seeing like hands and feet and nails in my mind. Um, that's something that people really like about your look and your style. But I'm just, I'm really seeing that your style gives well-kept. Your style gives a little bit of flair, a little bit of bezazzle, a little bit of notice me. Um, I take really good care of myself. Um, I don't know. I'm really, I just, I keep seeing Libra, Pisces, and Gemini placements. You guys could have really heavy placements in your birth chart of those signs, but that's the energy that I'm getting is Libra, Pisces, and Gemini. Uh, really social people, uh, people that are, you know, they have that sweet and sensitive side to them, uh, fantasy, romantic kind of vibe. Yeah, I don't know. It's giving me that energy. So that is what I was channeling for you from these cards. So let's go ahead and do my dice and see what else are people thinking or saying about your style? You got Uranus, the fourth house, and Gemini. So there you go, Gemini energy. So Gemini makes me think of, again, talking. I think you guys talk a lot. I'm hearing something about a podcast. So maybe some of you guys are on a podcast. I don't really know what that means. But I'm sensing that this has something to do with the way that you communicate. And I'm even seeing like your mouth is really highlighted. I don't know why that is. Maybe you guys like to accentuate your mouth. Maybe you have, I'm hearing lip filler. So maybe you have really nice lips and it could be through natural or body modifications. I'm seeing something about a lip piercing that could be uh, relating to someone here. But I'm seeing this as yeah, emotion, self-care. Sorry, you guys, give me a minute so I can channel this message. All right, sorry, I had to take some time to really channel the message. And I heard something about how when people first meet you, again, it's kind of going back to that Gemini uh, <laughs> devious angel energy. When people first meet you and when they first get a sense of what they think you look like and like the vibe that you have, you give off really sweet, innocent angel or like a soft e-girl or a soft e-boy. But I'm hearing that you guys have a mouth on you. You guys may have a uh, 
it's like a personality it's like different i don't know how to explain this like it's making me think of you guys look like one of those beautiful soft girls like e-girls and then you start talking to you and then you're like one of the guys right it's like a really big contrast so how you look is not how you communicate and it's not who you are so i'm actually seeing that you do this purposefully pile too so you don't want people to think that you're just like a run-of-the-mill uh, sweet person. I, I mean, you are a sweet person, but you don't want people to think that your looks is what makes you who you are. You don't want people to judge you based on your, uh, your physical appearance, right? So your personality or the way that you present yourself is very different compared to maybe how people used to think that you were or who you, how you look to others. So you may look really sweet and innocent and maybe immature, but maybe the way that you articulate yourself and the way that you express yourself is actually very, um, really mature, someone that's really insightful, someone that's really smart, uh, so you may be seen as like, you know, a natural beauty. Again, Elle Woods is seen as someone that's very beautiful, kind of like high maintenance, but actually she's very intelligent, but people kind of just saw her as like a dumb blonde. It's like that type of energy. And it doesn't have to be exactly that, but it's making me think that people see your looks and see how you are physically and they have like a preconceived notion on who they think you are and then they get to know you and they actually see you as the complete opposite and I'm really hearing something about the way that you communicate is very different compared to who they think you are so they may see you as someone that wants attention that wants people to do things for them uh, people I'm hearing the bedroom eyes again so people may think that you like to you know use people for their money or use people for things you use your body as a way to get uh things that you want out of people I don't know why I heard that for someone but there's something about how people expect you to be a certain way and then they actually get to meet you and get to know you and they're like oh wow like pile two is way different than I thought or oh wow pile two has a lot more to them than meets the eye that's the energy that I'm getting and I'm hearing for someone here that there is going to be a person, I don't know why I'm hearing this, there's going to be a person that's going to want to get to know you because they remember you from how you were when you were younger or when you were in school or when you were like a, in your childhood, I guess, and they're going to be realizing how different you are. Um, and it's going to be really surprising to them. And I heard the name Todd in my head, so I don't know who that's going to resonate for here. But I heard something about someone from your past is going to want to be with you because of how they remember you. And they're going to be realizing how different you are now. Um, I don't know why that's relevant, but I just, I heard that for someone here. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and end your guys' video off with my tarot cards and my index cards that I have random words written down for you. So we have the justice card again, the two different sides, two sides of a coin. Um, we also have the 10 of pentacles here. So certain people may think that you guys have money, like family money. Okay. And the seven of cups here. All right, let's do my index cards now. Um, yeah, that seven of cups is really making me think of dating. So you got God complex. Pile one got that same index card as well. Uh, you might actually be relating a little bit to pile one if you felt called to that pile as well. All right. And then moving, Ooh, moving and addicted to you. Wow. Okay. So kind of similar from what I was saying, let's go ahead and start off with your guys's tarot cards first pile two. So the justice card, it's making me think I've seen the 11. It's making me think of the 11th house. So popular. Right off the bat, people think that you're popular. People think that you have a lot of people that want to be around you. But the justice card is all about honesty. It's all about truth, the consequences of your actions and karma. There's something about your energy where even like your whole vibe, there's two sides to you. I, I keep getting that. There's two different sides to you. Honestly, I'm seeing a lot of other people in this reading for you, pile two. 
people assume that you have a lot of friends, that you have a lot of family members that like you. Like, I'm getting likability. People just assume that people like you. People assume that you're popular. People assume that you're charming. People assume that you have a lot of people that you want to date. And I'm also seeing something about how people assume that you guys have a lot of options in terms to uh, friendships, dating, job opportunities. I want to see what exactly this is because I'm, I'm just getting that people just assume that you have everything because I'm even seeing the Ten of Pentacles here where people may assume that you are supported by other people financially. Like a, it could even be like maybe family money and inheritance. Maybe you have a spouse or a boyfriend or a girlfriend that financially supports you or this could be seen as like, I don't know, like a sugar daddy or a sugar mama type of thing. I don't know. Uh, I want to see what the Seven of Cups is for you. Yeah, the seventh house and we have the south node. So you have a lot of people from your past. I'm hearing people from your past or people that you know. People assume that you guys have like people lined up wanting to date you. And I'm also seeing this as partnerships, contracts. This could be talking about business deals too. People just think that you guys have a lot of opportunities for people and things because of your beauty, because of how you look. Again, that pretty privilege was really coming through uh, in your guys' reading. But that justice card, I just, I'm seeing two different sides to you. Okay, so I'm hearing that there's people that may think that you have like a darker side or a more vengeful side. Like, I don't know why that is. Like, people may think that you guys are vengeful, that you want justice for yourself, that, um, wow, I don't know what, what is that? Second house and Mercury. Yeah, I'm seeing the second house as your value, your self-esteem, and I'm seeing Mercury as communication and your perception. So people think that you stand up for yourself. People think that you know your quality, you know your worth, but I was hearing vengeful because I was sensing that maybe this is a new energy that you're stepping into and people think that you're stepping into your karma era, right? I'm seeing with your justice card, this can talk about karma as well as fate, there may actually be some changes that you're going through right now where people are thinking that you guys are kind of stepping into your self-improvement era right now, pal, too. And there's people from your past that think that maybe you guys are out for blood or um, there may be like some good karma being sent to you, but bad karma being sent to others. I don't know why I'm channeling that for you, but I am. The other three cards that we have to end your reading off is moving God complex and addicted to you. So you guys are changing. I'm seeing the moving as moving on from the past. So I feel like this type of aesthetic or energy that people are seeing you as is actually not very uh, familiar to you. This could be something that is brand new to you. This could be something that you're like, even from the justice card from what I was channeling, like out for blood and vengeance. I think you guys are stepping into a point in your life where you're having a glow up in a way. And people are noticing that. I'm, I'm seeing like ugly duckling to a swan. So this is a new energy for you, pile two. And I'm seeing that there's a lot of people that are really, really liking this newer version of you. And they actually may be seeing you as a goddess or a god uh, element to you. They think that you guys are stepping into your power. And I'm hearing something about how there's certain people that are scared of you and I'm getting choked up like I'm losing my voice. So there's people that may have actually spread a lot of gossip about you and false narratives about you in the past or just people that didn't like you. And I'm seeing that they're getting really scared and choked up because you're having a really big glow up right now. You may be stepping into your power. There may be changes in your money and finances, but you're becoming more influential and people are noticing that. And there's people from your past that may have been seen as bullies or people that were trying to um, take advantage of you or people that were trying to, you know, be better than you. They're getting really choked up and they're also being seen as intimidated by you in this moment because of your influence on others right now. But pile two, that's all that I have for you. I hope you guys liked this reading. Hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. If, if you are interested, I am offering four plus videos every single month on my YouTube membership where it's videos only exclusive to my YouTube membership program. Uh, video titles that you guys can suggest, I will be doing that as well, but hopefully I will see you guys there and I will see you next time. Bye. All right. Hey, Pal3. Welcome to your pick a card video 
all about what do people think of you based off of your style and your aesthetic. So even with your image, I was getting really young, like youthful energy. So people may come across your vibe as very youthful, very energetic. I was also seeing that it may be coming across as more minimalistic, if that makes sense. But I'm seeing the child nature card and then I'm also was seeing the image that you chose and it was really making me think of younger, uh, upbeat, happy, positive, youthful. So you may be told a lot that maybe you look younger than you are for your age or maybe the things that you like like I'm kind of getting like Gen Z <laughs> I'm not gonna lie so you could be a millennial like me but maybe you guys like to have like the same aesthetic and style as like a Gen Z or you're trying to keep up with the trends or the fads uh, but I will say that there's something about your style that is changing or recently changed because I'm seeing the karmic cycle as in you guys are wanting to end a habit or end something that's being seen as your reputation and I'm seeing a lot of things here talking about like illusions, arts, creativity. So I feel like you guys recently changed your persona recently or you're wanting to. You're kind of in this creation mode if you will. So people may be seeing your style and aesthetic is renewed or brand new. Uh, more youthful, more vibrant, more fun. You guys are coming off as refreshed. That's what I was definitely hearing for you. And it has something to do with even like, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but you guys may have recently ended a relationship in your life and this inspired you to try something new for yourself. Like I'm getting this uh, analogy in my mind of like someone dating someone for like 10 plus years. They're in a really long-term relationship and when you are in a long-term relationship, a lot of the time you get really comfortable, right? Um, you're not trying to impress people as much anymore just because you get comfortable. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I think because of this breakup or because of maybe it's just an ending in your life, right? You just want a new chapter. I'm seeing this as you wanting to reinvent yourself or you wanting to play around with your creativity in terms to your self-expression. So for some of you, I'm seeing you guys may even be getting into a new hobby, a new creative endeavor, maybe learning a new musical instrument. Maybe you guys are wanting to play around with your makeup look, maybe trying something that's a little bit more dramatic and a little bit more outlandish than what you would usually do. But I'm seeing this as you trying new things out with your style. You're wanting to find who are you now, right? So maybe you guys are trying to find new trends and new fads and you're trying to see what fits. But I'm seeing this as you guys just may have a baby face or you look really youthful or your energy is coming off as youthful or renewed in some sort of way. Um, yeah, I'm hearing something about how you're making a really big change to your aesthetics and I'm also seeing something about how you're being really influenced right now by movies and songs, TV shows, maybe I'm hearing Pinterest in my head, so <laughs> that could be resonating for someone here, but you're, you're looking for ideas from other things that you like. Like you're trying to find like different trends or styles that you can incorporate into your everyday either from other people or finding inspiration from things that you like to watch or delve in or listen to. Like you, you're kind of like a sponge right now. You're trying to create what is this new identity that I want to step into. So I'm really seeing a creative mode that you have right now. Um, another thing that I'm seeing too is this new identity change or your persona right now, how it's being perceived you guys have a really magical element to you. I'm seeing that. Um, <laughs> this is so weird. I don't know why I heard this. I heard that you may look like you guys do like psychedelics or you're really into, you know, herbalism. You're into the more uh, natural earthy stuff. But I'm also seeing something about like, you know, not drugs necessarily, but you're 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 open to trying things that can get you to expand your mind. I'll say it just like that. So you look like the type of person that's really open to those type of things. Um, you may even be, I don't know why I'm seeing Woodstock here. Like I'm seeing kind of like a hippie, bohemian, spiritual, magical type of aesthetic here. You're like 
really free. I'm getting Sagittarius and Pisces energy from you. Pile three, you may have some heavy placements, but if not, I'm just sensing that type of energy, really free spirited energy. Aquarius energy is coming up for me too, but I'm getting like free spirited, um, independent, unique energy, uh, expressive, inventa, inventive. You guys are doing like a trial and error type of a, I don't know, feel to how you look and how you express yourself right now. I'm really hearing something about one of you guys or maybe some of you is really getting invested in a new creative hobby. And for most of you, from what I'm seeing, it has something to do with music. This could be singing, playing the guitar. I'm hearing EDM in my head. Someone's really getting invested in that. And for some reason, I'm hearing that someone's going to be getting a really big payoff. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I literally just pulled this off the top of my deck and talents and gifts was the first thing that came out. So yeah, I'm hearing something about how someone has a talent or a gift when it comes to a creative hobby, an expressiveness to them or a musical instrument or something like that. I'm even hearing something that has to do with drawing, painting, tattoo stuff, piercings, like anything that has to do with something that's a little bit more expressive and outside the norm i'm seeing that someone has a really big gift for this someone's naturally very good at this and you're discovering this through your rebranding if that makes sense and i'm hearing that someone's going to be getting a payoff soon for that so tell me about that before i move on tell me about this payoff what is this talking about in terms to talent Home renovations and home changes. So this talent could actually be interior design. That could be something that you guys like to do. Maybe you guys like to decorate. Maybe you guys are, I don't know, maybe you guys are into real estate, something like that. But I'm also seeing that this talent and gift could actually be changing where you live. This could be a home change, a money change. Maybe you're wanting to save up to buy a home right now. The bottom of this deck, it says career changes. So some of you guys are actually changing into a new you're you're transitioning into a new career based on a hobby or you guys could actually start making some money and having this be a side hustle for whatever this uh gift or natural creative endeavor is so i i don't know who you are wow and I'm, i got freedom so yeah i feel like if this is not something that you're going to be receiving people are seeing you I'm going to take this also as the messages for your look as well, but I was really feeling someone here is about to hit it big or they're about to receive an opportunity because of a talent or a gift that they have. But the other thing that I'm seeing for you based on your aesthetic, based on how you look, Pile 3, people are seeing that you guys are making changes. I feel like you may have actually made changes to your living situation. Um, maybe you guys just moved house. I'm seeing something about how maybe you're even changing your job right now, but I'm seeing this as you guys are making changes in your life. And I'm seeing that some of the changes has something to do with you wanting your personal freedom and you wanting to be more independent. And people are noticing this about you or they're watching your life unfold is what I'm hearing for you. And I'm also seeing that there's a lot of people that think that you're really talented at a musical instrument. They may think that you're just really artistic or creative, but you have a natural talent or gift that's seen as otherworldly or seen as really, I don't know, there's like a dream or a goal or like, I don't know what this is for a lot of you, but it's seen as almost like fantasy-like. So people may see you as like in this kind of mystical fantasy-like. I'm hearing Disney in my head, so I don't know how that's going to resonate. Why am I seeing that? I'm seeing Maleficent from Disney. Like, you guys are incorporating that energy right now. I don't know how that's going to resonate, but that is what I was hearing for you. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my tarot cards, and then I will do my dice, and that will be about it, Pile 3. What is their style saying about them? What is Pile three style saying about them? We got the Six of Cups. A lot of uh, memories here. Nostalgia. Reminiscing energy. Whoop. We got the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you guys are moving on from your past. 
that's what it looks like there you guys are changing the narrative of who you are it's like you're rebranding you're creating a new identity for yourself three of wands more travel you're mentally and there's like an idea you guys are wanting to move on from something that used to be seen as you this could have been something that maybe you grew up from i'm seeing this as you guys want to move away from an idea that people gave you based off of your family, based on who you were from your childhood. It's like you want to move on and start over. That's what it's making me think of. And some of you guys are going from like conventional to more free spirited. Do you see like the, the tattoos? Maybe you guys are wanting to move to a um, country or a state that's by a body of water. I'm kind of getting like a, <laughs> I don't know, like living by the beach or living by the ocean uh, beachy surfer type of vibe here. What else am I seeing here? I, I'm seeing this energy of you like just wanting to like get in your car and leave. Some of you guys may actually give off the vibe that you want to have like the van life or you want to travel. Like you don't want to like set your your roots or your foundation anywhere. Like you basically want to be like a nomad, right? Kind of just living on the earth and just going where you're going. Free as a bird, right? Very big free spirited energy. Like you want to travel the world for some of you. Yeah, the three cups here. So some of you guys are also, um, oh, we have the three of swords on the bottom of the deck too. You guys recently had some sort of friendship fallout. Uh, there could be people talking about that. I know this isn't really talking about your style, but you are actually people. Okay. I don't want to scare anyone or make anyone upset, but there is a friend or someone that you cut out of your life that's making you the bad guy in their story. And this actually may have inspired you to change your aesthetic. I don't know how that's going to resonate, but something about, I'm hearing bad press or something about how people were spreading a lot of gossip or rumors because they got uh, hurt by you. Even though it could have been the other way around, they could have hurt you, but you guys are freeing yourself from something. You want to change the, the narrative of what people think of you based on what you're doing with your, not just with your expression and how you look, but it's like you're making really big lifestyle changes right now. And there's a lot of people that are talking about that. Yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles. You guys may actually be leaving some certain ideology that your family had, or maybe this is like you guys are leaving home. I'm seeing this as like a legacy. So you are known for this. Maybe you have a really prominent family name. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Like maybe you live in a small town or a small city and everyone knows you because of your last name, because of your family, because of other factors that don't really... They're, they don't really resonate with you, but you're known for a certain uh, topic or agenda or identity because of other people or because of the people that you hang out with. And you're like, I don't want to be associated with this uh, genre or this label anymore. I want to like rebrand who I am. I want to change the, the persona of who I am. I don't want people to see me as this anymore. And so you guys are literally making a lot of lifestyle changes right now. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. You guys are emotionally walking away from something that you used to be seen as, but it wasn't actually who you were. It was like other people's biases or family legacy stuff, money stuff. Who is this new you that you're stepping into? The Ninth House, Sagittarius and Pluto. So traveling, free-spirited, someone that's more positive, someone that's more happy-go-lucky, someone that's like really excited about trying new things, someone that wants to travel the world, someone that wants to try out new experiences. Like you're being seen as someone that's ready for everything. Um, you could have been feeling, I'm hearing helicopter parent in my head. So maybe you guys had a family member that was a helicopter parent. They made you feel like you weren't able or allowed to do a lot of things. So this is like your experimentation era, or maybe you were in a, I'm hearing a line of work or a relationship that made you feel really restricted. Like I'm seeing you being a, in a really rebellious energy right now, pile three. And it's like, you guys are ready to have like a night or day difference in your lifestyle and how you present yourself. You're your ideals and beliefs are really dramatically different um, and also where you live like I think this is the oops I'm dropping my tarot cards I think this is the time of your life pile three where you want to make some really drastic changes for yourself because you're you're tired hold on pile three
Yeah, I think you guys are just tired of what you're used to. You're tired of not having creative expression is what I'm hearing. You're tired of living a life that doesn't really feel authentic or true to you. And so you're making a lot of changes. And I think one of the first changes that you're going to be making that's going to be really noticeable is changing your belief system, your ideology. This could be even like a new religion or you're leaving a religion. Um, I'm also seeing something about how you guys may be moving far away from where you're used to. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you. And one last card before I go for you is let's see what the, the basic, like the most prominent impression based on your style. What are people thinking about pile three right now? Cold and detached. Whoops. Betrayal. Hold on. I just dropped another card. Romance. Okay, so some of you guys are giving off a wounded, sad vibe. And I'm not trying to say this as a bad thing. But um, if you think about artists, they even like just people that, you know, are into the music scene. A lot of the most famous songs, the most notable songs, like songs that we, we remember are about heartbreaks. It's about, you know, breakups. It's about disappointments. And I'm seeing something about how you're kind of giving off this like, sad lover girl sad lover boy trope type of energy like lana del rey alex turner energy like you're you're ready for love but you've been hurt by people and it's like giving off this really romantic energy of oh my god who is that person like they have a hard like past they have like a really sad past but there's something about you that's like enticing <laughs> I don't know if I, I explained that the best way, Pile 3, but you guys are ready for warmth and happiness and newness, and you just have this, like, really new energy that you're incorporating, but you also kind of give off this energy like you've gone through shit, right? But you're, like, laughing it off. You're, like, you're ready for love. You're ready for new experiences. You're ready for new people, new places, new things, and people can sense that off of you. But pile three, that is all that I have to say. I really hope that you liked this video. And if you did, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe down below. And I also want to say that I am now offering YouTube memberships where I'll be posting four plus videos a month exclusively only for my YouTube membership videos. Or sorry, uh, videos only exclusive to my YouTube membership. I'm also dabbling with the idea about going live once a month on there where I can be doing... Uh, live collective readings and live, you know, personal readings and just chatting and hanging out with you guys. So that is something that I am thinking about doing in the future. So I just wanted to let you know about that and hopefully I will see you guys all next time. Bye.